The 10th Annual Greater Lafayette Senior Fair is coming up in October. Area 4's Anita Bowen is here with details on that and news of a partnership between Area 4 and the Men's Warehouse. Anita, always good to see you. Good to see you, Sue. First of all, tell us about this partnership. Well, we're excited that we have this opportunity to collect men's suits and professional attire, courtesy of a partnership with the Men's Warehouse here in Lafayette, out in the Pavilion Shopping Center. And what we're doing is all month we are accepting donations at the Men's Warehouse of any professional attire for men, suits, uh, sport coats, pants. And when an individual makes that donation, they receive a discount there at the store. And then we are donating those suits to men in the community who are seeking jobs. So we have this opportunity to help individuals who are looking for work right now and may not have a suit to go out and feel good about that job search. And Men's Warehouse is also donating a new tie to go with the suit. Oh, excellent. So if you need a suit, um, give us a call. Just contact Area 4, and then if you'd like to make a donation, do you go directly to Men's go Warehouse? Go directly to Men's Warehouse. If you're looking for a suit, give us a call. We have some in already. Oh, off to a good start. Yes. Now, Senior Fair, October 7th. Yes. That's a big deal. That is a big <laughs> deal. Uh, people come from surrounding region to come to the Greater Lafayette Senior Fair, held at the Tipkinew County Fairgrounds, this year, Wednesday, October 7th, from 9 to 2. And we bring in entertainment, um, health screenings, lunch, and just a variety of things for the seniors, no charge. So that's what makes it attractive. Many come and make it a destination for the day. And free transportation? Free transportation on city bus, anywhere, on any of their routes for those 65 and over that day, and shuttles available at the fairgrounds. I know she has something new this year, the Spirit of Jane Award. We're very excited to offer a something new this year in memory and in honor of our dear friend Jane Shook, who lost her battle with uh, lung cancer earlier this year. We're looking for nominations through September 25th for someone who is 55 and over who exemplifies the characteristics that Jane possessed. She was very involved in the community, an advocate for seniors, loved life, and just had a great volunteer community spirit. So we'd love to hear from those individuals to uh, either nominate themselves or someone they know. All right, so contact Area 4 on that too. Yep. All right, thank you very much, Thank Anita. you, Sue. Well, the problem